Hey everyone, Drew Stevens here, senior producer on Sea of Thieves, uh, back for another dev update. Starting off, uh, thanks to everybody that took part in the Skeleton Thrones adventure. Um, that's now coming to a close and we're excited to start our next adventure, which is gunpowder skeletons. So skeletons carrying gunpowder kegs have been seen out in the world. Uh, we've also dialed the frequency up for this adventure, so expect to find them everywhere, from emergently out on islands, through to populating forts and in bounty quests. So this adventure is all about killing gunpowder skeletons in interesting ways. Think clustering together gunpowder skeletons and other skeletons to form like cluster kills. Think of pulling together chain reactions of multiple gunpowder skeletons in a row, and also fighting gunpowder skeleton waves as part of forts with other crews. Along with doubloons, there's also going to be commendations and some cool new titles to unlock. And as I talked about last week, this is the first time that we're going to be introducing some of the legendary commendations. So these are some longer term goals for players to achieve, but also to encourage some replayability within the adventure. Completing each legendary commendation will also grant some extra doubloons so you can start to save up for some of the awesome cosmetics that we're delivering as part of this adventure. So this adventure is extending the Bone Crusher set. Expect to find uh, Bone Crusher Cutlass, Pistol, Blunderbuss and Eye of Reach as part of progressing through this adventure. These are, of course, time limited, so as soon as the Gunpowder Skeleton adventure finishes, these time limited cosmetics won't be available. As I talked to last week, the rep bundles have also been improved for this adventure, so now they're going to grant a full level for a specific company. Whether you're moving from level 10 to level 11 or level 45 to level 46, these are incredibly valuable now. Also in this week's build, we've made some improvements to gunpowder kegs themselves, so players are going to have the ability to light the fuse themselves for the first time. One of my favourite things now is to wait for a crew member to start looking at a riddle map and really get engrossed in it and then just walk over and drop a lit gunpowder keg next to their feet. So players are going to be able to control the fuse themselves as part of this build, just like the gunpowder skellies can. We've also seen the videos of you using gunpowder kegs to destroy your opponent's ships. Uh, we've added it so that gunpowder kegs can also now, when they detonate on a ship, they can physically impact the ship as well to add to that emphasis of a massive explosion taking down a ship. Some other stuff going on in this week's build. Um, as I talked to last week, we've toned down some of the skeleton pistol and skeleton blunderbuss accuracy following feedback. We've resolved the double venom bug that was affecting players. We've also rolled back some of the hair changes, some of the long hair clipping through jackets. Uh, we've also fixed the galleon wheel that was spinning way too fast. And we've also made some improvements to the Megalodon so that you shouldn't see Megalodon getting onto forts and getting onto islands. So looking a little bit further ahead, it's an old friend's birthday in July. So we're going to be dropping a present in for players to kind of commemorate the old guy's birthday. That's going to be coming in next week's patch. To end on a little sneaky peek, after Gunpowder Skeletons, the team are working hard on our next adventure. So players are going to be exploring the depths as part of the next adventure called The Sunken Curse. And that's it from this week. Uh, I won't be back next week. You'll have a reinvigorated Joe back from his vacation. So take care and see you on the seas, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then subscribe to our channel and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. I'm not doing, not doing much anyway. A couple of good videos there if you want to watch.